Hello, I'm Dr. Charles T. Price, Medical Director of the International Hip Dysplasia Institute. The purpose of this video is to show you some ways to swaddle babies so the hips will grow and develop properly. Hip dysplasia means the hips are loose in the socket or even dislocated. At the time of delivery, the mother makes hormones to relax the ligaments to help with the birthing process. This may cause looseness of the hips, which is the most common abnormality in newborn infants. For the first six to 12 weeks after birth, the ligaments around the hip can still be loose. In most cases, the hip becomes stable naturally, but tight swaddling can prevent natural development. So proper swaddling is important to keep the hips healthy. Newborn infants have hip flexion posture and knee flexion posture. This position should be encouraged for several weeks following birth. Babies in a breech position are at the greatest risk for hip dislocation because of the stretched hip joint. Keeping the hips spread will help center the hip in the socket, but bringing the hips together puts pressure on the hip ligaments and this should be avoided as much as possible. In one part of Japan, there was a 3% incidence of late hip dislocations in infants. That was three per hundred. In 1975, a program was started to eliminate swaddling with the legs straight out. Just two years later, the frequency of hip dislocation had been reduced to half a percent, or only one in 500. Navajo Indians and Indians in Western Canada have also reduced the frequency of hip dislocation simply by avoiding traditional swaddling on a papoose board with the legs tightly bound in an extended position. So it's important to leave plenty of room for babies to move their legs. This video will show you some ways to safely swaddle the hips, but mainly it's important to leave room for the legs to move freely. Encouraging the hips to spread apart is good for hip development. The following three swaddle techniques are safe for baby's hips. First, the diamond swaddle. Lay the blanket out like a diamond. Fold the corner down. Place the baby with shoulders on the folded corner. Tuck the left arm down, wrap over the baby's chest, and tuck under the right side of the baby. Tuck the right arm down, wrap over the baby's chest and arm, and tuck under the left side of the baby. It's important to leave room for the legs to move. Bring the bottom corner up twist and tuck under the baby. Make sure the hips can move up and out. Next is the square swaddle. Lay the blanket out square. Place the baby with shoulders even with the top of the blanket. Tuck the left arm down, wrap over the baby's chest, and tuck under the right side of the baby. Tuck the right arm down, wrap over the baby's chest and over the arm, and tuck under the left side of the baby. It's important to leave room for the legs to move. Bring the bottom of the blanket up and over the legs to the level of the chest. Tuck the right and left sides under the baby by gently rolling side to side. Make sure the hips can move up and out. And lastly, the between the legs swaddle. Lay the blanket out square. Place the baby with shoulders even with the top of the blanket. Wrap the left side of the blanket over the arm and then tuck under the left side of the baby. Wrap the right side of the blanket over the arm and then tuck under the right side of the baby. Bring the bottom of the blanket up and through the legs like a diaper and fold to the level of the chest. Tuck the right and left sides under the baby by gently rolling side to side. Make sure the hips can move up and out. Thanks for watching this video. You can learn more by visiting our website at www.hipdysplasia.org. The Hip Dysplasia Institute and this video are made possible through support from Larry the Cable Guy 
and his Gitterdine Foundation. Thank you.